Hey guys, welcome to part two of our Christmas-themed Icelandic box. Yeah, if you haven't seen it yet, check out part one up there. It's pretty epic. We're really looking forward to part two. This was a group effort, this box, um, including Helena. Aistain. Alexandra Leaf. Aria Rune. Eastbajor Ava. Saga and two lovely companies also sent some items, Noi, Sirius and Omnom. Omnom. The lovely Helena wrote all of those names out phonetically, so hopefully we haven't butchered those as much as last episode. <laughs> well, they, they can't be as bad as last week, sure. We were so far from the names. <laughs> oh dear. This is going to be our last candy video of the year, so we just want to wish you a wonderful Christmas. And a happy new year, and we just want to say thank you to all of you for all of the love on our videos. Yeah, it's been a great year for our channel, so thank you to all of you. We hope you enjoy watching. Right Should then, we, what we got um, next? Well, did you want to like skip ahead? And go on to the Om Omnom. Yeah. They look quite fancy. Yeah. I'd like to try this these. This looks really good. So this here is probably one of the fanciest chocolate things I've ever seen before. When we first saw this in the box, I thought this was going to be like a diary or a notepad. Mm. Doesn't that look just so beautiful? Yeah, so we've got the Omnom Winter Collection gift box, which is what you've got. Yeah. And that was gifted for this box. And then there's the Omnom Church Bells, which weren't gifted. We've got white chocolate spice with orange cinnamon and malt topped with crunchy salty caramel. Then we've got milk chocolate topped with spiced almond oat cookies. Then we've got dark chocolate sprinkled with dried raspberries and crunchy cacao nibs. That sounds so good. This looks amazing and perfect for a Christmas gift. Mm. And Does it's it got, say what I these are? I love the design of it. If they don't the do geometric. prints, they should sell yeah. prints. This chocolate company was created in 2013 as one of our more fancy and expensive chocolates. Ooh. You can read more about them at omnom.com. People from the UK can oh. buy it at cocorunner.com. Cocorunner.com. That's awesome. That's really cool. And she's also given us the bag it came in. Yeah. And it's really fancy inside. I just love their whole branding. And yeah, That's me too. Really cool, like the it? geometric, is that a wolf? Yeah, like a geometric. Oh, Do you like remember a snow for a while, dog. you could buy those like um, geometric wolf faces yes. to like put on your wall and stuff. It's like so cardboard. cool, isn't it? And it says um, these Om Nom Crunch Balls, the are these are chocolate covered malt balls. They remind me of Christmas tree ball or ornaments. Ah, so there are malt balls in there. Yeah, like we say we love our Maltesers, but they don't come this fancy, no. do they? No, so that's the thing. The We've not got any, um, well, not that I know of, like smaller boutique -y companies doing Maltesers, do we? Not any with this bit of branding anyway. Look at that, that's so cool. That is beautiful. These are like pearly. <gasps> Ooh, that's nice, isn't it? It's like it's been gift wrapped. That is the oh, oh my wow. word! Wow. Om Nom have taken chocolate bar branding to the, to next, the next level. level. That is absolutely beautiful. Do you know what this reminds me of? A uh, winter chocolate collection. No, it's like you've opened and you've got like books or something, yeah. you know. Collect These are like too collectors good books. to eat. Like collector's editions, don't you think? Yeah. That's amazing. What do you, should we try these first? Let's try the crunch balls first. And I love how they've been like dyed. They've been like dusted with like a pearly bronze. Mm-hmm. Mm, airy. Mm, but when you bite it, it's almost um chewy, the malt, don't you think? Almost like a chewy. They even really remind me of something we've had before. It says milk chocolate, but it's more rich like a dark chocolate, mm. isn't it? Well, I think it's like a really good milk chocolate. Mm. It's like um, green and black yeah. milk chocolate. It's fancy. But also the crunch is more like a crisp than a malt. Yeah, but it's delicious. more like, you know, in M&M's &M &M have the crunch, crunchy. Yeah, yeah. really but good. But nicer than M&M's crunchy. That's a really good present mm. idea. Should we do spiced white and yes. go down? Oh, it seems too oh, nice to word. open. Oh, well, look, oh, it's got a sleeve. sleeve. Hold on, is that a sleeve? Hold on, is that a sleeve? Hold on, I think oh, it- my Oh my word! And it's like- It's like an envelope. It's like an envelope. Oh wow. I can't get over this. This is an epic chocolate <clears throat> experience. Wow. Look at that. Oh, it's geometric on the front, This Look is at the that. most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I can't believe that. The details. That is so nice. Oh, it's definitely spiced. Mm. But it's not overpowerful. Not overpowering. Just right. It's really fudgy and creamy. It is, isn't it? I love that so much. Yeah, that's amazing. If you, you gave this one? as a gift, it's the gift that keeps on giving, isn't it? So it's like you open it, you see how beautiful it is, and then you get to this bit. Yeah, well, it's like food and art mixed together, isn't it? Mm. Oh my God, look at that. That's amazing. Mine one was like oh, a- like a whale. So this is um, 
dark chocolate nibs with the raspberry. That is amazing. That's like a posh version of the Cadbury's did it with the Lou biscuits. Mm. So this here is milk and cookies. Wasn't it like um, milk chocolate topped with spiced almond oat cookies? Oh. Whoa. Yeah, just a little bit of raspberry and uh, cacao nibs. <laughs> just a touch. Just a touch. Not stinging out on that, are they? Very, very good. Fancy. Mm. That's a delicious oat biscuit, isn't it? I feel like it's too good for me. <laughs> too good, yeah. You I'm don't, not. You don't deserve that. I don't deserve that. <laughs> you're right. That is not deserving of me. No, hold on. I'm not deserving. What? Yeah, you're not deserving of that caliber of chocolate bar. No. I feel like it's above me. Yeah. <laughs> you not think? <laughs> Definitely above you. I know about me. <laughs> mm. Do you love that? Yeah. That's dark. Mm. It's quite bitter, but you love that, don't you? How do you get but things back such in? A lovely sweetness, isn't there, mm. from the raspberry? So good. Oh, it's sixty-six percent cocoa solids. Very cocoa nice. Solids. That that is some of the best chocolate I've ever tried. Yeah. Plus the experience. The level of branding is immense. That is so beautiful. I don't know if Holly will like the flavors, but I think Holly will definitely appreciate the branding. The branding and the packaging. Mm. I love that there's a piece of tissue paper in there. Yeah, it's so cool, isn't it? Get it in. Maybe we we can, need to put it in a frame. Maybe we can gift these to Holly for her for birthday. For her birthday, yes. I don't know how people can like get them in in the first place. It's like we bought a rug trying to get it back in the same box. <laughs> is crazy. Fabulous. Perfect. That whole experience was a 10 out of 10. Yeah. My favorite in there was the white chocolate. My favorite was the dark chocolate. Or really? actually the one with the cookie was so good. You all right, Bob? Bob wants to say hello. Oh, hello. No treats for Bob in this no one. For but he wanted to say hello. Hello, little boy. Hello. Hello. Bob looks like he could live in Iceland. Yeah. Oh, oh he's got a nice, got a nice winter coat for oh, it. Oh, he does. Oh, these look nice. Okay. These look a bit like the um Freddo. The ones. Do you not think? I was thinking they look well, like, yeah, a look like a Freddo. Well, yeah, look like a Freddo. But I was meaning in this well, box. Well, are they the same brand? Because I think so as well. No, no they're, they're Fre not. Freya. Is that the one from Sweden? Freya. I'm wondering that. if some of these things, some people will say, we get those in our country. Yeah. We've had a slight intermission and I've tried my best to order this box. Hey, well done, and I okay. think I've got quite far. Yeah. There's just some things at the end. I have no clue where they go. Yeah. It's hard because with some languages, it's quite easy to read some things, yeah. but I'm finding it really hard. Anyway, we found three. This Which you bar go for first? is called Risa, Risa Harun, Harun or huge slash large lava, but originally come in bite size in a share box and they just called Harun lava. I wonder if it's a bit like a Mr. Oh. Big. Oh. It looks like it's got it's wafer, like wafer and crispy bites. <laughs> is it like a Mr. Big? No. There's no caramel in there. So it's rice krispies on the top. Wafer in the middle. And just like chocolate. Chocolate all around. Mm. That's delicious. That is really delicious. It doesn't say, but are you getting hazelnut? No. No hazelnut. There's no hazelnut in there. That's definitely hazelnut in there. Definitely not. That was good. Whatever you think, bro. Dry in. Bob's crying down there because he wants something. something. Gatsby gave you something and you didn't, you didn't want it. it. This is Goa Caramel Udri. Oh. It's pronounced like the letter E. These are my all-time favourite. They're cream chocolate filled with liquid caramel. Oh, these look really nice. Not you say a bit like a Freddo. Oh, I've got a bunny. You've got a dog. You've got a dog. Yeah. See, this is just like that brand. I kind of wish Cadbury's did mini Freddos in Put bags. In. Like, don't you wish they did caramel yeah, Fred so cool. mini caramel Freddos? Oh, this that'd really so cool excites me. That. Yeah, so obviously other people thought, oh yeah, we should do like a liquid center. Mmm. Mmm. I feel like if I lived in Iceland, I'd buy these a lot. What do you think to that? I don't think the chocolate's the best. Mm. But I love the idea. I love that it's caramel. Can you taste like coconut? A little bit. Yeah. Yeah, mm. I definitely agree. I don't think the um, the chocolate is the best. Not Definitely not as good as the Om Nom chocolate. Mm. That's for sure. But the caramel liquid center is delicious. Mm. What, Bob? Right, do you no want to read that? I'll you. hold Bob. He might just want to sit up. Yeah. yeah. This is Goa. Caramelu, or Goa Caramels. These are probably our most common caramels. They come in cream, 
caramel, chocolate caramel, and licorice caramel. And you can also buy them as a toffee lollipop. Ooh, so many smells for Bob. And treats for Bob. <laughs> You had your chance for treats. I'm guessing this is licorice. Mm -hmm. I can smell it. To the side. Caramel. You want to try caramel yeah. or choc caramel maybe? Caramel. This oh, looks, that like, looks choc like choc caramel. caramel. Caramel with a bit of fish. Mm. It's a nice caramel. Mm. Not as creamy as I would probably like or as I've had, but still good. The only thing that I'm not sure about, which maybe that's nice if you come from Iceland, is the same thing as the mint effect. If you have something that's mint chalk mm. next to something that's just chalk, then the mint, even through the wrapper, moves. So the one I had that was just chocolate caramel still tasted like licorice. Yeah, I've got aftertaste of licorice as but well. But the good thing is it was the right amount of licorice for yeah. me. Yeah, right, go on then, Bob. It's about as much licorice as I can handle. Yeah, that's that's so true. Like, it's really nice caramel, but because it's been tainted by mm. the bag, but it's almost like an aftertaste, so it's actually quite nice because it's quite mellow. Yeah. I really like that. Like you say, it's not as creamy as some caramels we've had, but the texture was really good. Yeah, really good. Not too Ooh. chewy. Okay, so we're now going to do a hit session. Hit session? What, burn off some of these calories? Yeah. This is a chocolate bar with fudge and... Licorice. Ooh, look at that little hump in the middle. Oh my word. Like a humpback whale. Mm. Is it good? Yeah. Well, at least if you didn't like it and that bit's licorice, you'd have peel it off. Yeah, that's what I did. Oh, you did? Well, I just had the bit that didn't have the licorice. <laughs> oh yeah. I have to say that's actually really good. Mm. It'll probably be better without the licorice, but it, mm. it is good. Good combination. Nice and chewy. The licorice is quite salty. Yeah, it's got good like texture, hasn't it? Biting through, you know, like we like jelly sweets with like a mm. chocolate bar, don't we? So yeah. at least it's got that it's nice going texture. For it. Sugar shell chocolate balls with licorice center. Oh, soft. Mm, chewy. That's actually quite enjoyable. Mm. I really like that sugar shell. Yeah. It's so thin. Mm. And then like the inside is just so chewy, isn't it? And mm. like soft. Soft. Mm. I like that. Mm. Okay, so. We've got, this is obviously a popular brand. Freya. Freya Bomber. Bomber. It's milk chocolate with chewy vanilla filling. Mm, that's and a new then one. this is a chocolate bar by Freya. And it's the bomb. It's the um, milk chocolate um, balls. Puffed balls in the bar. Oh, that's cool. Lindu Buff. Linda's Buff, isn't she? Linda's well buff. Um, chocolate covered sticky marshmallowy filling. Get out of town. That sounds amazing. That sounds doesn't delicious. It? Let's crack these open. Ooh, look at the size of these. Whoa. It's almost like a set of um, AirPods. It's <laughs> AirPods Massive. case. Oh. Is it hard? Mm, a bit like vanilla fondant in the middle. Mm. I always find it so interesting, like how different the world is. Mm. And, like there's so many bags in this. Yeah. That bar is so funky. Mm. Oh wow, look at the back. This almost looks like a mid-century like cabinet. cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's a surprise, but the only thing you talk about is mid-century cabinet. So the malt balls in that are really strong. It's because the malt balls before were a different brand. Ah, that's why. I prefer the Noah. Yeah, me too. Lindu Buff, ooh, look at this. This is like just one big marshmallow thing covered in chocolate. That's amazing it didn't break. Mm. Something like this just really excites me. Is it good, Al? It's good. It says marshmallow, but I'm not sure I'd say that was marshmallow. Really? It's like a cross between marshmallow and nougat mm. for us. I mm. would say that's marshmallow though. What do you think to that? I really like that. I really like that. That is right up my alley. If it's I lived in Iceland, I'll be going out. It's a shame the chocolate isn't like a bit richer. Mm. I'd like to taste the chocolate a bit more. Yeah. But it's very thin, but the flavour of the marshmallow is really mm. good. Right across between a sweet mall. Mm. Purster. <laughs> Pris Prister. Prister. It's hard to translate the name, but it's like three of clubs or hearts, like in cards. But we say heart pister. But it doesn't mean three, we say piri, which says three, so it's only in cards we say pistur. Also, two is tivet, tivir, <laughs> but when we play cards we say, oh, this is way complicated. This is another <laughs> licorice film candy bar and some type of chocolate cream fudge. And this is really interesting. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. That's the next thing we're gonna try. Decage stir, named after the Santa or 
Yola's Veen that comes first. We have 13. They leave a little gift in the shoes of children they keep oh, in their cool. window. The Santas come from the night before December 11th to the night before Christmas Eve. That is when we open our gifts and celebrate Christmas. I knew that. The bar is a cream-filled wafer covered in chocolate. So they actually open their presents on Christmas Eve. Maybe you get the like children, small gifts You know like, like advent up. calendars? Yeah. I think they leave a shoe on their window yeah. every night from the 11th to the night before. That's 13 yeah. days, isn't it? Yeah. And then... Um, they get a little gift each day, maybe. Yeah. We open our gifts and celebrate Christmas. So do you stock them all up and open them on Christmas maybe, Eve? Or do you open it every day up until Christmas? Maybe they can tell us. Oh, this looks good. Is it literally licorice? Yeah, but it's not too strong. It's like more of a jelly licorice. Mm. That's one of my I mean, favourite licorice like things. A Turkish delight, mm. in a way. It is that texture. Mm. Oh, dark. Oh. And do you not think? Wow. It's like two of those crispy like wafer things. Do you not think this looks more like for a child? Yeah. Which maybe is why it's not as, as strong. strong. Yeah. Hmm. Oh wow. That's like marshmallow like a in marshmallow the middle. Marshmallow cream filling. Was it good? It's just quite sweet. Like lacking a bit of depth. There's there isn't like a lot of richness. Like the chocolate is very sweet. Mm. The marshmallow is very sweet. I can see sweet. lots of kids liking yeah. that. It's not like too much flavour going on, but it's good. Okay, here we go. Moving on. We've got Jol Kotu. Jol Oh, is it Yo, yo like, like Yo Yo? yo. yo. Oh yeah, because instead of saying Joe, I think they say Yo Yo La Kotu. Yo la cotu. Oh my word, look. The Christmas cat is a huge and vicious black cat who lurks about the snowy countryside during Christmas time and eats people who have not received any new clothes to wear before Christmas Eve. What? What? The Can you believe that? Is a caramel scented biscuit chocolate bar or as it says in the packet, caramel and puss rife biscuit. That cat eats people. Yeah, who haven't got new clothes before Christmas Eve. It you eats must have, people. Yes, you must have new clothes before Christmas Eve. When they say cat, I wonder if they're not meaning like a little cat like we have here. Are they talking about like oh, a big black snow leopard? Maybe. I don't think so, because look at it. It looks like a domestic cat, but I mean, yeah, how would a like cat a eat a... Maybe it's for kids. Maybe it's more of a kids thing. Isn't that funny, like a tradition that you have to have new clothes before yeah. Christmas Eve? I love learning traditions. Mmm. Really nice. I like that. Mm. Me like you. So these are actually sent from the company and they're Eat Set. One duo. I'm wondering if it means because we've got two. Yeah. It's milk chocolate with a licorice ribbon on top. I like the branding on this uh, winky face one. That's cool, yeah, isn't that's it? Yeah, that's cute. Caramelu Mondula. And they are sea salted caramel and mm. chocolate covered almonds, apparently. Oh, oh wow. Oh, it's literally got a ribbon on top. Yeah. That's cool. Well, the good news is our dad likes licorice. Licorice, so it won't go to waste. Mm. You'll have a lot for himself. That chocolate mm. is really good, I like isn't the it? Chocolate. That's delicious chocolate. And actually, in that setting, I think the licorice works because it adds like just a nice sweetness and a chew to the chocolate. It's just so funny because we really don't have that much licorice here, do we? No, not at all. But almost everything in this box is licorice. Mm. And she says at the end, there's so much more licorice. Yeah. But we tried not to include so yeah, much. Yeah, no. Almost How everything's can that be true? <laughs> okay. These haven't got licorice though. No, these are salted Ooh. caramel almonds. That's really nice. Mm. I like that coating. Mm. It's not very salty. No, not super salty, but enough. But enough that it brings out. Yeah, it's not like noticeably salty, especially considering the amount of licorice and how salty that is. Mm. Right, next we have another gifted item here, and it's by the brand Noah Conf Confect. Confect. It's a box of chocolates from Noah. And if you look at the beautiful image, yeah. and if you turn I it around, really you can see. Playing off what they're known for. Oh, this is like an assorted box. That's cool. Oh look, chocolate with smooth salted caramel, chocolate with Icelandic salmic licorice. That's I cool. know what we're going to be fighting for. What? <laughs> Not the licorice. Oh. <laughs> oh look, that one's got rum in it. Milk chocolate with nougat filling, banana flavour filling. Oh, that's cool. Peppermint that, filling. No, these are really cool. Do you want to try one? Yeah. 
It seems a bit um, thingy to just be opening up a box of chocolates, yeah, but we always say that, don't we? that's what we're here for. That's our job. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, that's cool. And this here, I believe, is the caramel. So should we try this one yeah. together? Taste that. That yeah. tastes like something we've had. And I can't remember what. That caramel is almost minty. Because it's I wrapped up if another... It's kind of, yeah, she also gave us um, the bag for it. How fancy is that? So this, I believe, is the bag for that brand. Yeah, because this says Noir Cirrus or Noi, Noi yeah, Cirrus. It's as if they've got the brand yeah. and then they've got other things. Yeah. So like Capri's Dairy Milk, yeah. Capri's whatever. That's a really this fancy is bag. This Confect. That looks really cool, doesn't it? I like that. Very nice. And a lot of the stuff in here is, I think, Noah. Yeah, see, because this is Noah as well, isn't it? Mm. That says Cirrus, but is that Noah? That's Noah, if you oh, look at Oh, that's Noah back. as well. Yeah. Icelandic tops. Do you want to start with those? Because I don't actually know where they are. One of our Christmas top cookies. It's basically meringue filled with milk chocolate, and the, the recipe is on the bag. So I translated it on the back of this note. So this is a big Christmas thing. Salek Ross. Stur. I love how she's got the dots on every page. Yeah, it's cute, isn't it? So these are like licorice meringue things. Oh, look. Oh my word. Not what Tiny. I was expecting at all. No. Tiny balls. Tiny like, balls of fun. Like Cocoa Pops or something. Yeah, add that in a bowl some. with some milk. Yeah. They're tiny. Call it breakfast. Oh. oh my word, they're little balls of licorice covered in chocolate. Mmm. I like them in that form. Oh, do you put them in a meringue? I think so. They're not, oh right, I see. They're yeah, actually, that's possibly one of my favorite ways we've had mm. chocolate with um, licorice so far. Okay, now we're actually moving to candy, okay. which is funny. I think licorice is in there, but it's not called candy because it's chocolate. Yeah. Whereas this is, I think it's just like more licorice on its own. Oh, all right. So this is eucalyptus. Yeah. And this is Icelandic sea salt. Ooh. Is it just literally the number one selling thing in Iceland? What, licorice? Yeah, I'm a bit scared. It's like a licorice chew. Well, it's hard. It's chewy, but it's like the kind of thing you'd have to like open your nose up. Hmm. How's I the can, sea salt? If you like licorice, I can really see you mm. liking this. It's quite salty. Is it? It's quite like, you know, you're in the sea. Drowning. Swallow a bit. Yeah. Mm. The, lic the eucalyptus is nicer. Mm. The eucalyptus is nice, but it's strong. It's strong, especially the longer you chew it for. You know, people say eucalyptus is for when you need. Yeah. I've really been clear. I've got the clearest nostrils I've ever had right now. <laughs> okay. Should we try these apart? Yes. Like, imagine being in Iceland with the lovely, fresh, cold air. Oh, my word. You've had eucalyptus. <laughs> Your nostrils are open. Your you nostrils get, will be burnt. You're high on life with the with the amount of oat, um, you know, oxygen you're getting in your lungs. Oh look, these are like little mini oh, chocolate yeah. licorice as well. Mm. It's funny because it's not what it looks like oh. on the front. Mmm, I like those. Yeah, they're nicer. Mmm, they've got like a sweet taste, haven't they? Yeah, they're more of a, mm. you know. A sweet. Okay, and then my two favorite things. Yeah. <laughs> Come together in one box. Big moment for you, Kate. And this is why I say it just seems like a very mature thing. Yeah. All these seem very mature. Mm. Well, because you think that because here, licorice is an acquired taste and so, and so is, is marzipan. marzipan. Yeah, that's obviously everything they eat in Iceland. I mean, licorice all sorts here. Mm. It is marzipan what's on the... It must be. Do you know what? I don't... If you can hear that noise, that's Bob crying <laughs> because he wants more treats. Do you know what? I say licorice and marzipan, mm. all my two favourite things. Yeah. And that marzipan really is a great pairing mm. with licorice. I actually really that's like really that. Because that I is like that. licorice all sorts. Mm. That's really that's good. That's really good. I think that's my favourite way to enjoy licorice, actually. Yeah. Really good. Can you believe we're so near the end? I can't, I can't believe, believe it. it. I can't, I can't believe, believe it. it. Okay, and do you know what? I what? think we've got something without licorice. What? <laughs> no. Tritula. Gummy candy sweets. We don't produce a lot of sweets, but these no. are popular with kids as you can buy them in a small box as well. Oh. Isn't it funny you don't do many sweets? Ooh, I like the look of these. Mm. Oh, that's good. Mm. Oh, try the white one. Delicious. Mm. Yeah. As I said before, I prefer sweets that have got like a more of a bite to mm -hmm. them. Like you bite through them. These are quite chewy. 
not my preferred, but the flavour of them is really good. The flavour of these are amazing. What's this white one? Is it like elderflower? Or? I don't know, but it's like the gummy bear in Haribo. Mm. The white one's delicious. Mm. Okay, I've had the white one and the black currant type one. Yeah. Delicious. They're the black really currant almost flavor. tastes like a cordial. Yeah. This is my favourite. <laughs> it's off the camera. No one can say. <laughs> At least let them see what because it is. Because I'm a child. <laughs> A lot harder yeah. than I'd usually like from a gummy yeah. sweet, like you say. But... There's a lot of children in Iceland like you being like, please make more sweets like this. <laughs> yeah. I don't want any more licorice. And it's like, you don't want a whole bag yeah, of licorice, no. do you? Tell me now in the comments, could you demolish a whole bag of licorice yeah. like you could chocolate? Yeah. Like, no. Okay, must have missed these off. This is again by uh, Noir Cirrus or Noi Cirrus. I think this just could be the holiday line. Yeah, I'm getting the feeling this one's salt, salt and, and licorice. Ra om askul skul loa. I don't know what L A O with an X on top. I sounds o like. Oh, with does, an X on top. Yeah, what, oh my word. What does that mean? Well, it kind of looks like a D. I really like the branding to this. Don't you think it reminds yeah, you of really Lint? Nice. Yeah, classy. Really nice. Very classy. Classy boys. And that N looks like. Oh my god, is it strong? Salty. The N looks like it's like Saint Nick. Mm. What flavour is that? That's got like um, caramel pieces and rice puffs. Oh, that's cool. That's a good flavour. Pretzely. Mm. It's like lotus biscuit. Mm. Is this a salty boy? Yeah, salty. Oh, wow. That's a salty tangy boy. I feel like I've just gone past my salt intake for the day. <laughs> You'll be holding so much water tonight. It's not licorice like the chewy no it's like shards it's shards of licorice yeah. oh, it's, it's so like salty candied or like caramelized licorice wow it's cool that they're doing different variations yeah. of the licorice but that is salty yeah woohoo can i get a woohoo woohoo we have absolutely smashed that box I think we've grown as people. Yeah. There was so much licorice what, from in this, there. <laughs> just this one video. From the start of yeah, this. Yeah. There's so much licorice. So and much. I really do think a lot of people in Iceland would agree that yeah. it is an acquired taste, especially for people who are not from yeah. Iceland. Maybe we should call this video British people trying all the licorice. Yeah. All the licorice. All the licorice. Some I liked much more than others. Yeah. But I don't think I was as like, oh as yeah. we were in the Swedish box. So we obviously like get used to some yeah. flavors, don't we? And also I like the combination because in the Swedish one, we had a lot of licorice on its own. Yeah. Because it's, there is a place where actually the licorice with chocolate is really nice. Yeah, especially with the caramels. Okay, if you could keep one thing, what would it be? I'm going to say, well, you started strong with this beer and with these crisps, mm. but I also love the other like, um, soft drinks, drinks, but I loved, loved, my mm. favorite is this Om Nom chocolate for the branding and for the flavors. I really hope we're saying it right, because could you imagine if we were like, Om, Om Nom Nom Nom. Om Nom Nom. That's yeah, amazing. that's really good. My favorite thing, thing from the box mm. is this oh, so orange good. and chocolate. Mm. It was so good. Absolutely delicious. Yeah. Oh, oh, and these. this. <laughs> that with the butter. That was insane. Oh, and the cheese, the spicy cheese. And the cheese, cheese yeah. Mm. Wow, thank you so much, all of you, for that insane box. So many people came together yeah. to do that box and we really, really appreciate it. We will be sending you guys back a box of British candy, which we hope you enjoy. If anyone else would like to try some, we'll leave a link in the description box below. We hope you're all enjoying the Christmas festivities and having a great December despite Corona. So we don't get the wrong, I think we need the postcard yeah. back. Just want to say thank you so much to Helena or Helena. Or Helena. Or Helena. To Ice Einstein Per. Aria Ruin. Alexandra Liff. Is Jort Ava. My best friend. Saga Hillman. <laughs> he said my best friend. <laughs> <'Cause>, uh, <laughs> Helena or Helena's friend, Saga Hillman. And the companies that helped Noi Cyrus. <laughs> or Noi Cyrus. Noi Cyrus. And Omnom. Thank you so much, guys. We apologize for absolutely butchering all of your names. Yeah. But hopefully you can understand that. Yeah. That was hard. I feel tired after that box because the, the language yeah. and all the names. And it took it was a lot a big of concentration, box. this one, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, it did. Anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed watching and we'll see you soon. Bye, guys. See ya.